Hey, so hello everybody. Hello, welcome to Autumn Budgets. My name's Emily. Um, on this channel, we do savings challenges, we do budgeting. Today, we're doing some cash stuff in. So, if that sounds interesting, then just please keep watching. Okay, hello everybody. Hello on this a very bright Monday morning. Um, the storm clouds are gone and um, we now have bright sunshine so I've got no lighting on which is very nice um, so welcome along to all my new subscribers um, welcome along to everyone who always returns you are all very very appreciated as you know um, today is our weekly cash stuff in um, I'm desperately trying to do this on a Monday always because otherwise if I leave it till later on in the week I just sort of pilfer what's there so we have uh, £195 to spend, to spend, I wish, to stuff this week. Um, as ever, we've got hundreds of envelopes. Actually, let me count them. Um, what's that? 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 18, 19, 20, 25, uh, 30 roughly 30 odd envelopes so yeah we will make this stretch a long long way so let's count this first of all should be 195 so we've got 120 30 40 50 60 70 80 and 90 100 10 20 5 30 40 50 60 70 80 oh, did i miscount that probably uh, yeah that's it right okay we have 195 there let's just pop that in there perfect right that is for this week so let's get started with our emergency binder uh, thank you everyone for Saturday it was lovely to have the old OG back um, if you're new here and you missed Saturday's um, it's my savings challenge Saturday video love that weekend video um, and Oscar who's my youngest um, who always appeared on the channel here is the OG kid that um, used to cash stuff with me every time I cash stuff when I started a couple of years ago um, but he obviously got older he's eight now and wanted to do other things and whatever but he came back on Saturday and played battleships with me and everyone thoroughly enjoyed it he thoroughly enjoyed it so I think that he is gonna be back which will be oh so cool really well um, so what have we got in here Right, so we're going to put five in there. So at the moment, we've got 415 in there. Um, if you are new here, this represents money that we've got in the bank. It's a placeholder or whatever you want to call it, but it basically represents what's not in here. So, yeah, mine is, as ever, um, in my Monzo account. Um, I do have a Monzo link down below if you'd like to open a Monzo account. Um, I think we get five pound each um and yeah you can open a savings um account and it's four point one two one six well it's it's four point something um i only use their free account by the way they do have a paying account refuse to pay for bank accounts um so i've got their free bank account so yeah it just adds up instead of being sat in here so Teddy and Coco are my black Labrador, my little black and white cat. Um, they are fully funded and in the bank. They've got health in, health insurance. So basically I just keep like a couple of hundred pound in there just in case we had to go to the vet or whatever. So that's, I don't usually stuff this one. Um, car maintenance is gonna get a fiver. This is not ideal, but this is all we can do at the moment, so. Um, in car maintenance, we have 425. Do I need them five pound notes? Mm, I might do. Let's swap them out. So there we go, 425 in car maintenance. 
I don't even know if we're on track with this sticker. But I'm going to get to 600 and leave it. So, yeah, um, I might see if I can bulk this one up. I might give it its own savings challenge on a Saturday just so we can get some extra money in there and then that will be, again, fully funded. Um, month ahead, this is our most important one. This is when tax credits goes to universal credits. Um, and yeah, that'll be interesting. Um, so we are saving up for uh, a month of everything. And then, so I don't have to take out a loan from them, like an advanced loan, I think it is. So we've got 100, 200, 300 again in my Monzo account. 20, ooh, 30, 40, 50, 60, and five. So that's good. We've got 365. Oh, there we go. Right, and then we've got uh, my debt envelope, which is, um, I use this from, let's get the right one out this time. I use this one from um, Budget Lux. All of my envelopes are from Budget Lux, unless otherwise stated. Um, I use her 110 for my um, debt tracker. So we are going to put five in debt. Five in debt? Yes. So we've got uh, 20, 35. How many dots have I actually crossed off? 10, 20, 35. So I've got enough on there. I thought I had one extra. There we go. So we just put a fiver in. And then when it's 110, I will pay one. I'll just pay that off. Not quite a snowflake payment because it's, you know, a bit bigger than a snowflake snow flake payment. Try saying that 10 times fast, eh? But yeah, when this is full up, I will pay it down. So... All things home and decor at the moment. That's what, just what I'm saving for. Uh, we've got 20, 30, 40, 50, and five. Woo, it's raining money. So there we go, we've got 55 in there. Come on, there we go. Uh, tech and office supplies, I need to take some out of this. I've been buying things. Um, just a bit of stuff for my business. So I must um, actually, I've got a business um, envelope set one up last year. So I must, uh, 20, 30, 40 and 50 in there, I must sort that out got some reconciling to do um, this next week um, this is the last week of January for me I know that it is January still into next Thursday but um, I work like if it's the first in that week that is the first week if you see what I mean so yeah that's the first week of February next week which is quite scary January has gone really really quick so 20, 40, 60, 80, 105 we've got in there now. So I had my washing machine break down last year to call my emergency fund. So I gave it an envelope of his own. So we can just save up for say the price of a washing machine or a dishwasher or you know, whatever it might be. That is that one. Right, where are we going next? Black binder. Let's start here. Um, some of these as well. We've got um, a lot of uh, savings challenges to reallocate. So what I will do is um, I will, all the ones that I don't pick up today, because all the ones that I'm picking up today are the important ones. They're the bills that have to get paid or things that have to get saved for. So the more, I was going to say frivolous, frivolous things, frivolous, Emily. Um, but the things that are a bit lower in priority, I wouldn't say low priority, but lower in priority than bills and stuff, um, I will stuff those this week. So um, my oldest and my middle one, they don't get anything. They have some in there, but, um, you know, kids are kids. They come to you and they ask for stuff anyway. So, you know, 
this, if I remember, I just take it out of it. So we've got 15 in sweater, weather, which is a freebie I got from the Queen Bee Mix. I love these sweaters. I laminated this so I can use it again. Um, so yeah, he's got um, 15 in there. We're gonna put five in there. We've got all sorts of hospital appointments. Um, if you are new, we go to a major city, um, a lot at the moment it would seem. Um, because my youngest is disabled, he's got really, really rare physical condition. Um, and um, yeah, he just needs a lot of help with it. So, <coughs> excuse me, obviously it's expensive. So yeah, we just um, cope with it and he goes whenever he has to. So in sweater weather, which is for the hospital, he's got 20 pounds. That literally is for petrol and to get him something when we come out. And then in Taekwondo, he's got 25. He's got a grading in March. It's going to cost me a fortune. So we will save for it now. That's his most important thing now. He loves his Taekwondo. So it's an important sinking fund to save for. Uh, nothing in the boys haircut. That's my oldest and youngest. Um, we've got, oh, that was open. Uh, five pound to go into my oldest. His birthday's first in the middle of summer. Um, let's carry on the Star Wars theme and do bronze, shall we? This is by the Queen Bee Makes. So, um, yep. Each one of those is a fiver. Um, we will start ramping this up. Like I said, um, all of these will get some more once I've paid the water bills in March. So, yeah, we just have to iron it out and wait and budget it out. Let's try. Right, and then we got one at the end of summer. My middle one, bless her. She's at college. She'll be 18 this year. I can't believe that. That is unbelievable that she's 18. So we're going to put five in here. I have actually done the tracker. So we've got 15 and 20, which we have. Uh, did I put five in jowls? Are you all screaming at the screen? Um, oh no, I put five in there. Right, so they've both got 20 in their birthday fund. We, I just start it in January. Starting it in January is just so much easier. And Oscar's birthday, he's right later on in the year. We won't start saving for my button until um, the, till March, until the water bill's gone out. Sorry, little Gaston. I dropped Gaston. This was from Sarah at Dilly Dally Budgets, bless her. So, yeah, there we go. Ta -da. Um, okay, right. Anything else in here? I don't think so. Nope, that's it. Right. It's um, Christmas. Well, it's not Christmas. It's Christmas time now. Let's get... I've got two Christmas binders because I'm greedy. Um, and what um, I'm going to do next week, which is very exciting, is I'm going to game day this money into um, my binder there. Right, so at the moment, how much did I say put in there? Christmas gets 10, so let's put Christmas in there. So at the moment we've got 75. We will put some more in this. So what usually happens on game day is I break it all into five pound notes and then it will go into different categories, but with a difference because we are going to game day it and have some fun. All of my savings challenges I have saved up. So we've got a couple to save into just to make things more interesting, more fun. So once a month I'm going to game day my Christmas binder, which I'm very much looking forward to. Just sort of bunged it in there last year. But um, we'd really like to have some fun whilst doing it. And as you know, savings challenges are my thing. So, just close that. Let's keep that in there for now. So we've got 75 in there. Hopefully we can get that up by the time we game day it next week. I do have, I have completed three savings challenges. Um, so what I will do is I will use the money from that. I might have to glue him on Sarah, you know. Look at little Gaston. Stay there. 
Um, so let's get on to um, our pumpkin binder. How can I not have one of those? Um, so, um, self-care gets nothing. Um, I'm waiting for Dingley Designs to come. Very, very excited. Um, when I went on Vinted and rescued all those um, savings challenges, this came through as well. I think it was one of Dingley Designs um, freebies for December. Am I right in thinking that? Um, I didn't order this from it, but it came free with the savings challenges that I got on Etsy, on Vinted. Um, so I thought I would put that in there as well. Uh, just as it's interesting and something else to save for. Um, yeah, the idea was to do it until the Dingley Designs one come, but um, we haven't got enough money for that, so it doesn't matter. Right, so Winter Rice Buy. This is Plan Budget Repeat, and we are going to put a fiver in here. So let's get my little pen out. Oh dear, where is it? Where is my charity? Oh, it's missing. Oh, I bet you I know who that is. Give you one guess as well, people. It's my children. Oh, no. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I blame them and it wasn't them. Sorry, children. Um, how much is the fire? The fire is three. Um, and we need a two. How much is the penguin? Uh, that penguin is five so let's just do this penguin then I think just so I do on this one anyway I do like to group them all so it looks like you've got a lot even if you haven't gives the illusion of oh look I've got loads in there right and apologies to my children who do watch my videos for blaming you they will be laughing now they will be laughing now Gosh darn it. So at the moment in there, and I did check we are correct. So I've colored in the right little amount of labels, a symbol, sorry. We've got uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. Already, we only started this at the beginning of January. So let's bung it in whenever we can. So then we've got our winter scratch off, which is, um, these lovely envelopes are by the Queen Bee Mix. But this lovely scratch off is by that budget lux. Um, so what we've got so far is 10 and 15, right. So that's that one. Let's um, cross the other five off. Let's be bougie and do silver. Um, and then let's get a coin and see what we're gonna do. Okay, I have no coins. I have to go into my game day stuff well my completed savings challenges are you going to be kind to me and open or do i have to i want one of those um scratchy things that everyone uses apparently they're something to do with artificial artificial with nails aren't they with um like nail nails so well there we go i would like one of those yeah that would be so cool but i don't really do enough scratch offs to Ju uh, justify buying one so um between one and six that's easily done oh look that's my spare pom-pom right so we're going to do number six uh, so that's this one let's see what we get this time sorry if it i've got another five that's okay. They will all be different. Uh, they're not all five, so we just keep, seem to keep hitting the five. So I will put five down in my book so I know how much is for next week. That way we're not surprised and we can budget for this. So I'll budget that into next week's. Thank you so much, Savings Challenges. This is all the lovely loot that I've got to pop back in in a reallocation video this week. So very much looking forward to that because... The savings challenges um, and the end stuffings and things I am that is gonna um, top up my income for the next few weeks. So uh, there's 20 in January. How many have we got left? One, two, three, four. Let's do another one, shall we? If I just shut that so I can't get it out again. If I have, I'll just do it on my nail. 
or as someone suggested, Zoe suggests I should do it at the end of that. It's not actually sharp enough, believe it or not. So um, let's just do this one. So we will. There we go. See, that's a four. Is that a four? Yeah. You're either one of them people or one of them people, aren't you? I have to scratch it all off, I'm afraid. I'm one of those people. So we've got a five and a four, which is entirely doable. I might do this in Savings Challenge Saturday. Because um, we've then we've got we've still got four to do, so we will see. I'm not going to overload myself for next week because I haven't got the money coming in. But I think we can manage um, five and four from our savings challenge money there. So let's do that. Um, nine jars I have completed and wiped. Um, we will be starting this next week. This isn't high priority. Um, but if you go over on my Instagram, you will see that I completed it. Um, I did I do, this is obviously from Mallet Budget Lux. I do like these ones because they are little. It's only 45 pounds. Only took me a few weeks to complete. So love this. So yeah, go and join me on Instagram. I'm nearly a thousand, a thousand. I can't believe it. That, that many people follow me on instagram um but yes yeah, so if you're not following me on instagram i am autumn.budgets please go and find me um yeah i would love to get to a thousand i might even do a little giveaway if i do that would be nice wouldn't it i've also ordered some stuff that's coming from etsy so yeah should be interesting should be interesting um i have not swapped out the savings challenges in here um, I did make my own savings challenges to go in here on Mother's Day anyway, which just happens to be my mum's birthday as well. But I did not swap them out, so I've just got the old one in there. Um, the Valentine's one is from Cute Budgets. And this Easter one is from the Queen Bee Makes. So let's cover in a bum. So Easter bum is going to get five. So we've got see how much we've got in there so in there we've got 10 20 and 5 so we've got 25 in Easter which is good and then in a Valentine's Day we've got 15 this is fast approaching but I do have a couple of savings challenges um, for it too so we will complete it we will complete it um, there we go there's 20 in there um, and then in Mother's Day, which just happens to be my mum's birthday as well, we'll put a five in there. So that's got 15 in it. Um, and let me, while I think about it, just show you if you miss Saturday's savings challenges. Um, for my video last week, um, I am opening an Etsy shop. My Etsy shop actually was open. Um, not for this, by the way. This is way, way long ago. Um, when I was trying to raise money for Oscar um, to go to hospital at the beginning of his diagnosis. Oh my goodness, the cost. So what I used to do is I used to make jewellery and flog it on Etsy and all the, pro all, everything, even, you know, all the, uh, went out of pocket to just, you know, and everything that I got from Etsy used to go to Oscar. Um, so yeah, that was at the beginning. So this is um, the savings challenges that I've made. Now these are all blown up but um yeah these are what i made so alice in wonderland tea party um queen of hearts um the mad hatter down the rabbit hole um yeah it was really good um and this is my freebie now this is linked down below it is just an a4 copy but if you would like this it's just on a google drive so it is literally a google file you can download this all i ask is that you be subscribed to the channel um, and um, like the video where you saw it that would be most helpful and that would help me a lot as well um that one's by cute budgets and then i just did my mum this one and i must make a smaller one just to go in there it is mother's day and my mum my poor mum her birthday is always mother's day um but we obviously get her two lots of presents i would not not do that because my sister is a couple of days before christmas and i'm halloween so we've all got birthdays that sort of we have to share with everyone if you like which i don't mind at all um but yeah it's uh there we go and there's my lovely mad hatter 
so yeah i just wanted to really quickly show you that so that's our occasions nothing else in there um and then we come on to my favorite um my favorite binder look at the color of that oh oh my goodness so my lost in america binder because it got lost from amazon america and then just suddenly turned up um bougie doesn't get anything what have i got on here let's have a look um right so we're gonna go past happy mail i'm gonna have to unstuff happy mail as well when i spent my vouchers my christmas vouchers i still went over so um it was on um giveaway prizes by the way so if you're not subscribed please subscribe when i get to 2000 we're gonna have a lovely giveaway so um lemon five ten five right okay so this one is by peachy budgets she's um a, a new seller on etsy i love all the things they're lovely so let's cross off have we got a five or am i gonna have to condense something we um, let's just do that five then and then we'll leave it at that oh my pen Oh, my kindling for a pen lid. Oh, oh, no. Oh, gosh darn it. Right, I'll do that one after. So we've got um, 30 pounds in there now. So five, 10, 15, I think that's right. Have I just put five in there or not? Yeah, I'm sure I have. If I haven't, I know where it is. Thank you everybody for last week, by the way. I was just literally hanging last week. So yeah my appreciation for all of you spotting my errors never be afraid to say in the comments or oh, you miss something always appreciated otherwise you know you think oh i've got this and i you actually haven't so right so we've got uh 65 now in glasses so whoop, whoop. that's lovely um and I said we were going to go into the brown one and I haven't actually gone into it, but that doesn't matter. We've done my Lost in America binder. So let's now do the brown one. This is where most of the money goes, to be fair. Okay, so a butcher's. Um, butcher's gets 10. I must go to the butcher's actually. Um, there we go. We've got 30 in there now. Uh, monthly stock up gets five. Uh, monthly stock up and preps. Um, I'll be doing a prepper video this week as well um, because I want to show you what I get when I spend this money. This money I save up. Monthly stock up is literally as it sounds. I will stock up on anything that I can in bulk. Um, pasta, flour, not really rice people, but... Um, Anything that I can get on a deal, I will buy in bulk, which is why my weekly um, food budget is a bit lower than everyone else's because I've already bought loads. So there we go. We've got 40 in preps. So yeah, preps video upcoming. Um, I'll get that out by the end of the week because everyone said, oh yes, please. So yeah, I do class myself as a little bit of a prepper. Um, I love being prepared for things. I just think that it's um, a necessity in this day and age. Teddy nom nom. So this is for my little cat and my little dog. It's for their food and don't they need food. So I'm glad to see that there is £55 in here. I will take that out and go get them some food. Uh, kindness gets its usual five. We are on the RNLI this week, this, week, this month. So we've got a specialised unit here and like I said if I can give this to them I will otherwise we won't worry and it will just go to the RNLI in general who are a very good organisation. Okay, um, I still haven't decided who to do. If you know anybody um, who is um, worthy, not worthy, if there's a good charity let me know in the comments below i would love to know who everyone else gives to um yeah okay right my sanctuary which is garden 
we are going to put five in here. Um, I stole the savings challenge out of here um, from Kimberly Budgets to go into um, my savings challenge binder. So um, we need to start bulking up because obviously it's nearly growing season. I'll be doing garden videos as well, growing videos. I've got grow lights. Um, I do lots of things indoors before I ever get outside. So I will document that as well for everybody. Okay, right, we've got water rates. This is the one that as soon as it's paid, I will concentrate on the kids' birthdays then. This is the money sucker that I um, absolutely hate. So let's put 10 in there, yep. Yeah. So we've got um, 120, 30, 40. So we've got 140 in there. So one, two, I'm right on 140, yeah. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1, 10, 20. I am behind. I'm not sure why. They were £10 each, weren't they? Yeah, and that's definitely 140. Yeah, oh well, never mind. We won't argue with it. That's okay. Perhaps I miscounted last week doesn't matter anyway so again these are all from budget looks a blesser i got this got her to um personalize that for me i think it was supposed to be a mortgage one but i absolutely love the houses on it how fantastic is that so um and then we get direct debits this is just a month of direct debits i can tuck away somewhere it is separate to the month of expenses that i need in my month ahead for um tax credits changing and um, this is actually like part of my emergency fund as well. I would just like to get that in. And then, of course, you know, you can just go, oh, I've got a month of, you know, whatever. It's fine. So, yeah, it gives you a month of breathing space, if you like. So we've got 115 in there now. 115, yeah, 20, 40, 60, 81, 10 and 15. So we can't fill one in, but we can cross one off. Let's use you while you've got your top off. Sounds so rude, doesn't it? You've got your top off. There we go. Right, that's 115 in there. And I put a cheeky fiver in this last week from all the um, money from eBay last week, so. Yeah, we'll keep topping that up. It'll just keep bubbling along nicely. As a lot of mine do, as you know, when you only put a fiver in, but you are doing something and they do come along. So never think that sticking a couple of quid in something, you know, isn't important because it really is. Okay, right. Yearly insurance. Now, this yearly insurance covers um, me, car, house, cat, dog. So um, I worked out all of my insurances, all bar a little one in the middle of the year, come out on a yearly basis on a in a September. So I worked out how many weeks there was until the first one came out um, and we are saving accordingly. It was £19 something or other, so we saved £20 a week on there and then all the insurances are covered. As you know, I have loads of um, envelopes already. So I just thought that instead of keep having car and pet and everything else, although I do have a pet one, but you know what I mean. Um, yeah, that goes for my health insurance, um, the, both the pets, the car, the car tax, everything like that comes out of here. So we are good for that. That's very pleasing to see. Um, what's that? 260. 208. Oh, I just counted that wrong. Yeah, because I haven't put it in yet. Gosh, there we go. So we've got 280. These two are in the bank. So, or I should just say these two are in my mom's though, shouldn't I? Because I haven't got any other savings accounts. With interest like that, I don't need any other savings accounts. Um, so that's that one done. We've got £10 left, which is correct this week. Yay me. 
Um, so, and then we get these two lovely Nessies out. These are both from Gail. I budget with me 24-7. She made me this one and she made me this one. Uh, this is my pumpkin binder. Right, so first we are going to go into this one. This is our annual homeschool trip. If you are new here and don't know, I at home ed all my kids. Accidentally started with my oldest and then it just progressed from there. Um, so yeah, we are a home edding family. Every year we go somewhere really nice for a day. So usually is it on towers? I am open to offers though because, well, I'll tell you another time, but you know, Alton Towers is great. We usually go for Scarefest, but you know, with Litlin in a wheelchair and last time he couldn't actually get his orthotic on to walk anyway. So we were literally stuck with the wheelchair. Um, it was cold, very cold. So we thought about doing something in the summer instead. Um, Cause usually we combine our birthdays, but that's just an excuse to um, yeah, do something else at the end of the year. <laughs> Probably something warmer, probably something indoors. Oh, yeah. So, there we go. They're not all done. Don't think I'm going to get them all done either. What have we got left? Yeah, we've still got £30 on there. £30, £45. Very much doubt that. But we will put some more on it. But, yeah, it's just a little bit every month. Um, yeah, so this is her yearly one. Oh, it's so cute. So, we've got February, which is love. Um, and March, which is obviously, um, oh my goodness, what is it? Patrick's, St. Patrick's Day. Oh. And then we've got this beauty, which is my 52 week challenge, which is just everything that's left over, even if it's a fiver, which it is this week. There's not a lot I can do about that. Where are we? Week one, week two, yeah, week three. So we are on week four. Oh, no, we're not. Have I done four already? One, two, three, four. We won't worry. We'll just put it in this one as well. So just something, even if it's a fiver, goes in there every week. And this helps with the 2025 budget. Um, although if you've been following my journey from the new year, you know that this binder paid for all my car repairs instead of me taking it out of my emergency fund this year. So actually, this didn't get reallocated this year. Um, obviously that's in my Monzo and I don't want to touch that. This was in cash, so I literally use this for my car repairs and fingers crossed, touch some wood. Uh, my car is actually okay at the moment, <laughs> let's not jinx it. Um, but I had a lot of work done, so I'm hoping that that's it just for a while. Just let me save up again, you know, please. So that is it. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you to listen for listening to me ramble on. I do ramble. As I say, every week you are the only adult company that I talk to, obviously besides my mum. Uh, so, um, yeah, I'm very appreciative. Thank you to everybody for all your love on my um, lovely bits that I'm going to put up in my Etsy shop. It was much appreciated. I'm glad you all liked it. They will be up there very soon, along with Lord of the Rings and The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe. So... Yes, my fair is going to be sort of fairy tale themed cash stuffing stuff. Um, I know there's a few of um, you lovely people out there that do um, cash stuffing stuff, but I'm I I if I can't find what I want, then I usually make it. So I just thought I'd make it for everyone else as well, and it's gone down a storm. So anyway, thank you so much for listening to me ramble. Hope you have a good rest of your week. I will see you later on in the week. We've got savings challenges to count up and reallocate. I've also got to do an unstuffing because that money's got to tide me over for the next few weeks. Um, then we've got our Christmas, but I think I'm going to do that next week. Got our Christmas and savings challenge Saturday. Lots of things to come up. Plus, I've got to set up my bullet journal for February, which for me officially starts on Sunday. So, uh, thank you for watching. God bless you and your families. Um, have a great rest of your week and I'll see you very soon on Autumn Budgets. Thanks for watching. Bye.